All right, and we are inside of the Zoom call. I think, Michael, yep. you good on your end? Yep, I'm. I'm still. We had a little bit of. It's just a travesty that we're on a Zoom call, but. Well, it's not so bad, but the uh, technical difficulties we're trying to sort out. Um, I can't decide who's worse between you or Ryan at like figuring things out. Oh yeah, really? Um, it's kind. It's kind of messy. Um, but. You know, you, you you pulled out, you know, right in time, two o'clock. You, you you figured it out, so that's good. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm not the best on the technology, but I just it's hard for me to catch up to these these digital sh- programming. I'm used to the I'm used to the old school, baby. I'm used to being up used in to your the old school. I'm used to be able to look at you closer. I mean, not that I want that, but that is what I'm used to. Well, you, it's okay if you do. Um, I don't mind it. I'm still getting used to it as well. I got the new setup going, but like I said yesterday, I sounded like a, like a kid with asthma on the track. Like I was like really breathing heavy. Um, not sounded sure like why, you just ran a marathon. Yeah, and getting set up for these is kind of comparable to running a marathon so i'm gonna try to distance i'm gonna try to social distance myself from the microphone so that way you don't catch all my breath yeah dude hey you're looking we need an audio engineer bad dude you're looking spiffy over there bro we're gonna have to start recording at that place dude it it's not a bad spot you know you check out my diverse line of yeah, we can see that you know? you've been a fan of every winning team in the past decade. I even got the Mavs that you see that? That is dude, they have the twenty eleven finals on ABC on Sunday, I and believe. And it was whack. I told y'all it was whack. Bro, that was a, an amazing finals. I mean, it's cool to see those old dudes win, but it it, it hurt me to see it like it physically hurt me to see LeBron struggle so bad dude jet terry fucking put it on lebron back then bro and then jet terry came to my celtics and Ooh. lebron put it down on him lebron put him in that body bag. he put it down on him before body bags were cool oh uh, yeah. yeah yeah before it was a trend before body LeBron bags really doing became it. uh a trend i think body bags are gonna become like streetwear honestly dude Streetwear trends are the worst. Yeah, you're gonna start seeing Off White put out like these bags with zippers. Yep. And the zipper is gonna have zipper and quotations yep. on the side, and it's gonna yep. sell for nine hundred bucks like a hot cake. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna have like a little slit for your nose so you can breathe, but it's actually probably a good time to drop those because like probably protect yourself. You know, it's kind of like a full body like glove. Yeah, it, so. it, kids are so stupid that. They'll get mad at anybody else for profiteering or taking advantage of the crisis, but if All Flight does it, shit's fresh, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. You see people like that, the amount of people that jumped into like the the face mask gang, uh, like I know, quick, dude. Quick. My guy, uh, Tom Segura, the comedian, bro, he's got straight up. Mm-hmm. Face mask of men, men with beards, baby mask, uh. All types, like he has a gorilla mask. I mean, they're they're kind of fresh, but I mean, people are straight up. Our taking, sites are still. They're freaking. Our, bro, it's capitalism is at its finest. It is, and I, I, I love it. Hey, honestly, bro, honestly, a a truly free market allows people to even port up san, hand sanitizer and flip it. That is a free market, okay? Now, is it moral? No, but that is what a free market is. A free market is the market. Is it immoral? <laughs> the, the, a free market can be immoral, which is why our market is not a true free market. Yeah, maybe not. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like, at this point, do you flip the bottles of bleach or do you be a nice guy and let it sit, you know? I don't know. It's like the best thing that a lot of these kids could do is now just give this stuff away that they were planning on flipping 
and instead of making money off of it, look at it now as like a, a donation. But I can't say that I think it's it's too immoral. I just think kids saw an opportunity to supply and demand and make some money. And I think that uh, are you saying are you saying you're sitting on a whole stack of like germs? Oh yeah, in your oh yeah, dude. All my pure rolls, all my pure rolls over here, bro. We're not showing that. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's out of that's out of the shot. Yeah, I intentionally that's moved good. it out of the shot, of course, on my pur Purell, right next to all of my amazing phone cases right here. Yes, of course. So this the, is the whole reason you're you jumped on this call though is just strictly to advertise, isn't it? You're just yeah, doing basically. I so basically, guys, I started a hand sanitizer company, and basically all we do is go to every grocery <laughs> store ever, buy every single bottle, and sell it. Yeah. That's that's my new uh, guys. Venture. I guess if 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 you haven't caught on yet and you're listening to the audio, um, check out the Instagram, check out the YouTube. We're actually doing a video call for the first time ever. So yeah, we are. I mean, come maybe, to the line. We've been cute. We have videos of us actually not social distancing and in the same room. I know that got, that is crazy. This. So we've been doing this for and a clear minute. within within six feet, like totally breaking. Oh yeah, rules, just but, like. Sometimes um, I was like, that boy's breath sometimes is we're rowdy. Like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Probably. Sometimes I come over after going to like Whataburger or Bill Miller. So, yeah. I, I know. I, I don't blame you, bro. This boy smell like the bottom of a it's drumstick. <laughs> Crazy. This is Cover the Line One Podcast. Those... Welcome in, everybody. Yeah. Episode, this is 31, right? 31. 31 and, yeah dude i would I, dude i think this show's kind of morphed into a little bit of bro talk what do you think i think a lot of the shows right now definitely are just more reflective of our lives and yeah than any one subject because right now there's no like f there's no focal point for for us you know like what do we exactly what do we direct our attention you know i mean there's a lot going on but then again, I don't want to like give, I don't want to talk about certain things that I'm just not that educated on, but I mean, there's a, there's a, a lot going on for sure. But as far as like entertainment's going, there ain't shit going on. Cause I'll be honest with you, bro. This is nothing so hypocritical because we're literally making the content right now. But personally, I'm sick and tired of watching my favorite entertainers call each other and talk. I'm like, I want these guys back. Which is it's super mm -hmm. ironic because we're doing this right now. So maybe there's people out there well, that are like, I want those have, fools that's back. What we have to do. I know. Um, maybe, maybe it's just what we have to do, though. You know. I'll be honest. So you know all the smoke. Obviously, we both like that show with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. Mm -hmm. They've Matt done. Barnes. They've been doing virtual uh, interviews like daily, but I haven't watched a single one since the Chris Paul one, just because. Just because I'm just not that into the calls. I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm done. Bro, you know what What was so bad? <laughs> did, you, did you ever see the horse tournament? A little bit of it? Oh, my God. Dude, we flamed the How shit out bad? of that on this show. How bad was that? Because, like, their, their shit kept buffering, right? Paul Pierce's Wi-Fi was, How like, ridiculous. How bad was that? Dude, Paul no, Pierce. Paul, Paul had a nice setup. Dude, Paul went to go do like a reverse layup. Looked like he had a fucking ice cream stand going. We couldn't tell what was going on in the video. He's like, all right, dog. I'm going to go do, hit this reverse layup. And then he came back. He's like, y'all like that? And they're like, what did you do, Paul? They're like, you didn't see my layup? No, no one did. No one saw it. All we saw was like Paul Pierce and then just like a black buffery dot moving around and then throwing something. That's all we saw. We didn't know if it was a African yeah. uprising. I don't know what was happening. It could have been anything. It could have been a a UFO. It could have been now a you got, UFO. That you got the Pentagon leaking UFO stuff. So it could have been maybe a it originated in Paul Pierce's house. It could have been a Rottweiler playing with a beach ball. I don't know what happened, Paul. <laughs> Seriously, Paul, go back and do it again. <laughs> do it again, Paul. You can't see, but you you can't tell Paul to do it again because he's old. Like. He's only got so much juice and before he runs out. Yeah, he's old, and he always kind of played old, if that makes sense. Oh, he's got the old man game. Yeah. But, dude, what was crazy is that Trey Young's setup, like, I know dudes who have a way better 
basketball setup than Trey Young did. He had like some like cheap little hoop and a tiny driveway. And Trey's still it, struggling on that rookie deal. He's still in that rookie deal. Bro, those rookie deals are huge. Yeah, I know. Huge. Dude, if, if you gave me the worst player in the NBA, you gave me his salary, I, I wouldn't be sitting oh. underneath this thing, I promise. Dude, yeah, it looks like Mike's kind of in a prison cell, but he spiced it up. He's got some Christmas lights. You should have turned the Christmas lights on. It would have been Do you want a me nice to? Touch. I'll just be off the camera for just a second. And I, yeah, I, go ahead. I hate to discriminate. Up. If you're listening, guys, we are also doing a video for the audio fans. I don't mean to discriminate. I love everybody. I'm going to turn my lights oh, on. Oh, I do entirely because uh, I, I hate when I'm listening to a, to a show and they consistently talk about the, the video form. But, dude, just come on. Come on over. We're on, like, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Um, this is going to be much better than if you just listen. I think Mike is struggling a little bit. Oh, there he goes. See how nice Yo, that is? Did y'all see my cake too much? I don't want that to happen. Did yeah, you, see, you saw you, my ass. I thought you were I thought you were gonna moon the camera for a second. Was it like the waistband or like the hole? What how far did you see? Oh, whole thing. <laughs> whole thing. I should have brought it up. We'll highlight it and put it on the we'll, oh we'll clip God. it. We'll clip dude, it. if we dude, we need to make that the fucking thumbnail of this thing. <laughs> Alright, well, Basically, I just hit some lights on in the background, spice things up a little bit. So, that looks cute. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into what is happening at our home state. So, we live in Texas. Uh, we are both we do. TXers, Yeehaws, Don't Tread on Me, uh, Battle of the Alamo, uh, San Jacinto. This is us, okay? Um, and that's very correct. Yes. And so. Our governor, I think, other than Georgia, I think we're pretty much one of the first states to lift the stay-at-home order, which I don't even know what that even meant to begin yeah. with. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means because I can't get a haircut still. So I don't know what it means. Dude, I was telling you, my hair was ridiculous. And it was really bad. It was. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to go with a... With just like my corona quarantine, just like, let this fucking thing go. And my mom just got so tired of looking at it. So I just, so she just clipped me up. And at first, she, at first, all she did was cut the top. So it looked like a reverse fade. It looked like I had a horseshoe. Oof. Okay, I mean, it looked like shit. And, uh, <laughs> mom. I, I went into the mirror and I felt my hair. I was like, it's not supposed to feel like this. And, so she finished no. it up, and it actually it actually came out looking pretty all right, honestly. It's looking awfully look good. it's looking Not awfully presidential. I'll be honest. But I got hair going to the neck now. Oh, just getting going oh. down to the shoulders almost. We're almost at the shoulders, dude. If, which is both I got my satisfying. Neck. And I told her terrifying. I told her that's the thing. Once I started getting getting good haircuts, the neck hair is not a part of my life. I said, I cannot do neck hair. That's the sign that you're washed. And so I had her get the neck hair, boy. <laughs> no, I'm not washed though. You, you see your, your hair is curly, which is cool. Cause it like, you know, it does stuff. Mine's just straight. So I kind of look like a punk rock star. If I have it like down to yeah, my neck, you know, you kind of look like a punk rock star or like a poor Chinese kid or like a, or like a washed quarterback, like a washed quarterback. Yeah. Or like a shitty surfer. <laughs> oh, not a wannabe surfer. Can't catch a single wave. I'm just, the biggest I, wave like ever all the comes. Ones that like the corp at Corpus. Yeah, no, the ones at Corpus who are like beach bums, but they, all they do is they carry around a surfboard and like drink Miller Light all day. Yeah, all they do is but drink Miller Light surf. and jack off all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the type of yeah, guys. Dude, you kind of look like one of <laughs> You look like one of those guys no. who goes down to the beach to get girls, and you just fucking jack off it the whole time. <laughs> At the beach? I don't know what beaches you're going to. Dude, this is I weird. have not. I mean, I've been to a beach in California in December, but a beach in Texas? I haven't been to a beach in Texas in half a decade. Easy. Really? No, I don't think I have either. The beaches um, here are ass. It's been a while. 
Well, they're yeah, they're pretty gross. Like I saw, I saw somebody say people are really risking their lives just to go to Galveston. <laughs> like, oh, I it's know. So true. I know. Dude, I've never water, even been there you've before. Seen it, you've never seen it. It's just like Houston, but on the water, right? Um, yeah, it's it's like uh, it's about a hundred miles out of Houston. Mm. Um, but it's it, it's dirty. You don't want it. Yeah. You you don't want to be you don't want to be in that water. A lot of mud rats out there. A lot of stuff going on out there. You don't want to you don't want to see it. Yep. Uh. Well, aside from the haircut thing, I really can't think of anything that I'm like dying to go do. You know. Yeah, I was gonna go. I was gonna go to the outlets last Friday, but then I yeah. tried. I tried calling stores, and I mean, they might as well have been out of business because I just ring, 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 nothing. Ring. And so dude, that's what the apocalypse is gonna be like when all those places are <laughs> are unattended to. It's dude, just gonna ring it, like it, that. It's kind of feeling like the apocalypse with everything shut down, everything boarded up. I'm like, damn, like this is insane. Yeah. Well, I saw somebody say that works at like one of those like Marshalls or TJ Maxx yeah, stores. Yeah. That the, because they're holding on to all this product for, that's like a, a season old now, that place is gonna be like a dollar store when they open up. Oh my god, dude! So, so the day. you know the that knockoff or that whack NBA gear they carry or those old player jerseys like uh those old Celtics Kyrie jerseys. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be like five bucks. <laughs> dude, it's gonna be the insane. day. The day that I can go back out and get back onto that resale life, I am going to clean. Clean house, bro. Yeah, I nah, am high. I should probably be calling them every day and wait until they answer and open up and just get there first. Yeah, I'm worried that the Google page isn't going to uh, refresh and it's going to be, it's going to say closed. Yeah. But in reality, open. they've been open for like a day. Yeah. I, I went out last week and there was a lot of places that were still boarded up. Oh, dude. All these places. Think about the, think about Goodwill, bro. All these donations are getting right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just Some people are cleaning their house right now and finding gems. I know. But that also gives them time to put the, put the, the good stuff on their auction site. Sad. Sad, sad, sad day for us. Yeah, so, sad. I, I, you know, we've been in this now for about two months. About two months. Yeah. Um, When do you think that it will be a little bit more normal and that we, like, we will have to do this and then the majority of media entertainment won't have to do this and we'll be back to where we should be? Bro, I don't know because I thought it was pretty normal about well, as soon as they said we were going to reopen things on like May 1st. Yeah. That didn't even change anything. Nothing right. changed, really. Um, Not really. Just the, maybe. They, they actually just lifted the the requirements on masks, which is I thought was so stupid. It's like if we're going to reopen, then we need to make sure we keep it tighter. Yeah. It's yeah. like what? why are we being so strict about the mask while people are at home? And now we're going to open places. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. It's encouraged. But, dude, nobody's going to do it then. Mm-hmm. That's why this second wave is going to go crazy. I hate to say that, but. Well, that's kind of my leaning too. Too many people that I like, listen to think think that way. And it's like, the, nah, I, can, I can't imagine it any other way. Well, I went into the store that we used to work at. You, you still do. I went into the HEB here on last Monday, maybe. And I was in there and me and my brother had a mask on, but maybe 50% of the people in the store had a mask on. Right. So yeah, where we're from, like we're kind of outside of the city. So out in the country a little bit, I think people are a little, they don't take it quite as seriously, I guess. They just kind of think it's not a big deal. And, and they're very relaxed about it here in Texas. May 1st was like a reopening, but we've had our biggest days ever the past like three or four days. Like it's going up. And so we're going to get to a point where it's like we have to reopen. Like we have to reopen and and go back to the way things are. Um, Because the reason why we shut down in the first place is we didn't want to over 
populate the hospital system. We did not want our medical system to collapse. And the hospitals have been fine. The hospitals are not full. And so I think we... Because half the people that get this thing just go home. Right. They sit at home. Take care of it there. Take care of it. I'll say I think that we are going to ease our way back into reopening over the summer. But yeah, we might we might have a second wave come back to where we have to do this all over again. Hold uh, on. I hope not. Hold on one second. What's up? What's up? Oh. Oh. Well, we got a little interference. We on, got on the show. We got a, we got a little we got a little interruption. He comes in. Oh, never mind. Pardon the interruption. Pardon, Pardon the, the interruption. interruption. Dude, so let's Great go, show. Let's go ahead and so this has been, I mean, this is like nothing else in my life. And I'm, you're not, I mean, I joke, I, you're not much older than me, so this is nothing like in your life either, <laughs> even though you're 47. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I mean, this is just so crazy that this is, this has given me, even though like I'm like, we're extreme, like extremely busy for the most part, doing a lot of things, but. This kind of reminds me sometimes of those childhood summers. You remember those? Oh, I love them. Boy, that is like what I can remember. Those were my life. I know. I remember there was this one summer where I watched this Sports Center rerun all day long, and I watched Sports Station. I I watched a tennis tournament all day one day. And ate a whole bucket of cantaloupe. And to this day, I hate cantaloupe because of that bucket that I ate. And <laughs> it was just like you're at home during the summer. And it's when I lived in my old house. So we lived, we lived like in a little mobile home. And I was so bored. I watched tennis all day long. You know how much time I wasted growing up watching the Sports Center rerun? Because. It would it would play live for for the first time. Yep. And then rerun, 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 rerun. rerun, rerun. And I just and watch it. Sometimes you just were too watch it. You were too retarded. You didn't know it was a rerun until the fourth time you saw it. You're like, oh, this is a rerun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuart Scott said that same thing seven times already. Yeah, you're like, oh, come on, Stu. That That's joke was only funny hour. the first time or the second time. <laughs> it's definitely not funny the fifth time. <laughs> turns out you're just watching the same thing over and over again and then you get to a point where like certain sports center anchors you just hate the, to even look at them you're like i hate this guy oh dude i hated it that was me with that guy john on he's probably center. still on there oh yeah probably john uh, john butchagross oh dude i hate john butchagross oh. <laughs> come on hold on let me let me let me come up I hate that it's been boy. A since I've dude, him and Hannah Storm. I'll watch now is Hannah Storm and him oh, are always I together. Know what you mean. Oh, John Butchagross. is this guy? This cat right here? It's loading. Oh uh, yes, that boy. That, that guy. That little John slick little puppy. Hannah Storm. Oh yeah, she's Hannah fun. Hannah Storm. Yeah, yep. Then, dude, I have I haven't seen That's our girl. I haven't seen an episode of Sports Center in probably three years. Uh, the daytime Sports Center I don't watch, but uh, if it's really late and it's like I have nothing to do, I'll, I'll put on the Sports Center at midnight. Well, I don't have cable with SVP. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, neither do I. Well, technically, I have Hulu, but um, that Hulu with live sports, you know. Um, which is basically cable, but cheaper. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's the only sports center worth watching because the daytime sports center, it's the same thing. It just loops over and over it. again. And like, they, I, they, what are they doing now f- that there's no sports? Well, I don't know. It's probably just more looping because usually they'll start it at like 4 a.m. with a fresh one and then it goes, that one runs to about 10 and then they'll do it another one like in the afternoon. But now... There's nothing new to like to update, yeah. so I have no idea what they're what they're doing, bro. If we're gonna keep it with a sports talk, I hope everybody listening is kind of, uh, kind of understands what we're talking about. We'll go to this. I have come to a point 
where I hate Undisputed on Fox Sports. Oh, really? Yes. I, I reached that point. This is the point that I'm at. So I don't watch it much. Um, but I watched first take for the first time in like a year really? last week. So bad with um what's her what's her name? Molly Kiram? She sucks, dude. Well they had She's they had so another bad. blonde chick on probably like last week that was pretty good. She was like so quiet. I was like, Oh man, this is great. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't even mind her. But it's like and I get like she's a moderator, right? It's a dispute show. I get it. Right. Show. I get it. But don't don't cut in the middle of an argument. Like they used to just let that puppy run. Like in twenty thirteen, that was like prime first take. Carrie they Champion would just let that boy run. Skip Stephen A. I think they would just I think they would skip over the commercials, like sometimes. Like if it was going really strong, I think oh, they yeah. would just power through it. Because sometimes it felt like they were going. Back when they were presented by but, Bass Pro Shops. That was Oh wow. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. Now it's like a commercial every few minutes, and by the time somebody makes a point, they gotta cut it. So before it's like Stephen A. Yeah, so bad. What I think about Michael Jordan before he makes his point. Welcome to our sponsor, Chase Bank. Thank you, Chase, for sponsoring this week's show, <laughs> bro. I just closed my Chase Bank account. Oh, good for I you. I just had no use for it, and it was incessantly like they have a monthly charge if you don't follow their requirements. So oh, it's like a dude. whack. Cut bro, it. Cut it. If you're bank, if you're banking with Chase, Bank of America, or Wells Fargo, you got big problems. I think it's good to have a big bank, though. That's why I had it, because I tried to buy Bitcoin, and my little local bank said, "No, that's too risky," and they didn't even let me buy it. Really? No, I was buying Bitcoin consistently back in twenty, like sixteen and seventeen. Yeah, and then they cut me off. And they said, no, it's a risky purchase. We don't allow anybody to buy it anymore. So it's like, oh, my God. Seriously. I had to like, try to disguise the purchase through Damn. like PayPal. They still found it. They're like, cut it. Dude. So I got a big bank that would let me, and then they suck too. So, Bro, I'll tell you what pisses me off. These big banks will charge somebody like $10 a month for not having the balance requirement to not get the fee. So they're charging poor people a fee for being poor. <laughs> I hate it. I hate, It's Basically. like keep at least $2,000 to avoid the $10 monthly maintenance fee. Why is there a maintenance fee? Bro, somebody's got to got to pay the the CEO. Somebody's, somebody's got to pay Jamie people. Diamond. Somebody. I think it's because Jamie Diamond is that oh, him? <laughs> yeah, Jamie Diamond's the CEO of JP Morgan Chase. I had no idea that. Dude, let me tell you, bro. A lot of these banks have so many physical branches, it doesn't even make sense. Like, why is there a Chase Bank in Evergreen, Wisconsin? You know there is. Why? Oh, I went to, uh, where was it? And it was a nice little bank. It was a Chase. But it was a little tiny town in Texas. And it looked like it, like it, looked like it was just built. Like, it was nice. And it was on this little street corner where they may have, like, in the town of, like, 500 people. Yeah. I was like, uh, why? Why? It's a waste of money. the lights on there. That's, that's why I get charged a service fee every month. And I'm glad you acted like an American and told them to shove it and close that account. Get on Dude. out of there. It's a trap. Yep. Close. Close it. I can't believe it. Close that nasty bank account, boy. Uh. It's no good. So, I don't know if we should be giving financial advice on this. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just saying that you just speak like an American. Bank is garbage. Yeah. 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 Facts. That's good. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and tell me about how it's been going for you because I know that you have been the most essential of workers the entire time, and. I am. Not much has changed for you. So Did you I just guess, rip my Instagram bio? <laughs> well, yeah, I've seen it before, so yeah, it was kind of an easy little play. Um yeah, that's what, good. Give us some like I guess probably like three of the craziest just some crazy 
things Some you've crazy seen stuff lately that's happened or like crazy things that people have told you or just oh. general jackassery Dude, the 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 best one was last week uh really I, th- I guess i guess i didn't say it already um but a really old lady old right and what's the target demographic for the uh for the virus old people really right? old ladies yeah old but not only old obese oh huge fucking... huge lady looks like she ate a so calf she looks like she ate her like a family member or something and it looks like you know, yeah she looks I'm like sorry, she ate the just... person she once was yes her Shit. old self yeah and so she walks in here demanding like she's 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 asking for baskets she yep. needs people to help her out all right fine but she's screaming the whole time like this Jesus this Christ. lady's volume knob it's like when you're like when we're doing our audio and we crank the gain way up oh yeah that's bro. how this lady talks she didn't know the difference between an inside voice and an outside voice for real um, jesus so she says do i have to wear a mask <laughs> and this has been my favorite thing everybody who asks that already has a mask either on their face or like in their hand with them they have it they just want to make sure that they don't have to wear it mm. so i'm getting to the point where it's like if i see you with one i'm just gonna say yes because if you have it just wear it yeah you know yeah it's it's like you went to the trouble to get one and i get it's not fun but you have it well i liked just wear it i liked what you shared i'm I'm sure it was you on our network instagram page where you said uh it said if both people are naked and somebody starts peeing you get pee all over yourself (laughs) if one person has pants on and the other person doesn't uh they get a little bit of pee on them. It absorbs some, but it doesn't all get all the way on. But if both people have pants on, then those piss your pants and that'll be it. It'd be your problem. Exactly. Um, I did share that. That was that was just like a, a, a meme. Oh, but anyway, this lady, so she doesn't have a mask, but she, she asks the thing. She asks a question. Do I need it? Right. And I was like, uh, no, it's fine. And um, she says, well, good, because there's no way I'll ever get it. And I was like, bro, you're on your dying breath anyway. Yeah. That fucking hamburger uh, meat in your cart is going to kill you soon. For real. You need to to look at her items. She's like, honestly, this is more likely to kill you than Corona, but you should still have a mask on. But you should still take precautions. I I just think it's like, you know, like when you're like a teenager or you're like 12 years old and you jump out of the tree, it's like you're invincible. Yeah, like nothing could take you down, but, she, but this lady's like ninety. Oh yeah, and huge and thinking that way. So I was like, I oh my god, like there's no hope for you. Yeah, she instead Just of no hope instead of jumping out of the tree and nothing could happen to her. She is like some she's like a house and there's a big ass tree leaning over the house. You know, the second you cut the tree down, the house is coming down too. That's sad, but yeah, it is. It's just like that. That I always That's get, been, I always get. It's kind of been the new normal, though. Yeah, it kind of has been. And where where we are, there's a lot of people that are like, kind of think it's like a hoax. It's no big deal. Or I don't want to wear a mask. Masks are stupid. I look like a clown. You know, whatever. Like, like they're just people that just yeah. probably don't watch the news much or don't really care or they just don't think it's a big deal. Um, they think that they could never get it, even though the same exact story you're talking about has had a confirmed case inside of it. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. People are just, or, you know, uh, yeah, it's really showing how, I guess how insecure some people are like people, everybody, there's a good portion of people who have their wearing, like wearing a mask, right? But people don't want to wear it because they think they look like stupid or something. Yeah, no kidding. I I would rather look Dude. like a clown Bro, and just, be alive. Well, you don't even look stupid. It's just like it's just a thing. It's a thing, bro. It's a thing I you just do. all I have is basically a condom over my face. That's essentially it. That's it. You might as well write uh 
right right on it you know ppe like, uh, boy your favorite brand is ppe for all day dude in in china people wear masks I don't know. all the time always forever just because their air is Every so day. bad just because yeah i don't know hopefully we never get to that point where it's like just smog everywhere Hopefully not either. I know a lot of a lot of the people I disagree with are people that are just happy that the air is clean now. But I will say that a lot of a lot of cities have cleaned their air because of basically people not being around, which I I guess I'll take I guess it's all right. I'll take it. If we have to do this, then I might as well have some clean air. But I agree with you. I mean I've, I'm somebody who, especially where we're from, dude, every time I see somebody roll coal in their truck, I am just like, you've got to be kidding oh. me. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, but not only do they do that, but they spent like $1,200 just setting it up that way. Oh, yeah, and they, they spent $3 worth of gas blowing that fucking shit. Every time they fire it up. But it's so cool, isn't it? Not really, because we all have to breathe the air, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's not at all. And it's um, it's whatever. I don't know. It's it's just yeah, it's insane. It's insane. Like every time I see those guys just blow smoke all in the air, I'm like, you do realize we all breathe that, including you. Yeah, I know. And it, if you got behind, it's for the clout. If you got behind a truck muffler and put your lips around it and started breathing that, it'd probably take about five seconds for you to knock out cold dead. That's what you have to to do is like if they're ever going to stop we have to show them like the direct effect yeah hey hey uh i'm thinking of a honky name um hey zachary put your your lips around dude i was going to say zachary (laughs) but i wasn't sure if that was honky hey yo zachary i think it's i think it's eyes to put your put get on your knees and put your lips put your mouth on that muffler (laughs) take a couple deep breaths see what happens you'll fucking knock out cold dead does that have to do with childhood experiences that we both thought of that name Actually, I kn- I knew a guy named Zachary who was a well, so asshole. did I. That's what I'm saying. I knew several. How how were the Zacharys you knew? By the way, dude, I hope if somebody named Zachary's Just watching like this, they I hope somebody is don't go crazy because it's not personal. Yeah, do we have cool Zacharys out there? Like you know, yeah, like Zach Levine and stuff like that. You know, yeah. I mean, like I, could, I could see Zach Levine being an asshole, though, if I met him, you know? Oh, he kind of is. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, he is, but... I think there. I think there's a good so chance... So it's not looking good. I think there's a good chance if your name's Zachary... There's a good chance you're probably an asshole. Yeah. It's I like I don't tell it. anybody my middle name is Kyle, you know? Yeah, because the second you tell people your middle name's Kyle, they immediately are like... Game over. They're like, I wasn't sure if that guy was like what he was. Now I definitely know he's white. Now you, now you definitely see me for who I am. Yeah, yeah you, I get it. You're the type of cat to put on your SAT that you're Islander, and then they see Kyle, and they're like, No, you're not, you clown. <laughs> Islander, fucking Alaskan. What does that Bro, even so mean? So many people exploited the Islander trait, dude. My favorite thing Bro. is seeing people put Islander in like their Instagram bio, like is like a trendy thing. Like, bro, you were born in Corpus. You're not an Islander. Bro, <laughs> every continent is technically a big island. This is nonsense. I, I should I should do that. I was born in Corpus. I should say I was I'm an Islander. Dude, I don't even know what that meant back in the day. Hawaiian slash Alaskan Islander. What? <laughs> What does that even mean? Is that just white people who try to That's who want to try to get some uh, affirmative action? So here's what here's what I don't get is that all these people, all those like markings and whatnot, but you can be born in Hawaii or whatever, get flown over to the states, never go back to Hawaii in your entire life, but you get all the rep, all the cred. Oh yeah, boy, for being Hawaiian. Yep, bro, you were just bro, you're a white kid who just was in the right place at the right yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That's it. You're not Hawaiian. It's crazy. Solely based on location. Just because your uh, hospital was in Hawaii doesn't mean you're Hawaiian, bro. Yep. You didn't come out of the womb with a lay and some coconut, you know, Yeah. on your head. And Hawaii, That's so crazy. it's like, it's so far away. It's like, is it even part of the country, honestly? 
Well, that's why we say we have the 40... Is it 48? Lower 48, and then we got those other bombs. Yeah. Is Washington, D.C. a state? I don't know. People still trying to say it is. The district. Yeah, it's like Pluto. Is it a planet? I don't know. I always thought so, and now they say it's not. I don't know. I still think it's a planet. And frankly... What do they say it is? A big star? It's not a star. Is it a rock? What? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. All planets are rocks. That's what I'm saying. You know what's crazy? Saturn really does have rings. Like when you're a kid, you just believe anything, but you grow up and it's like, oh, wow. Saturn's got these big old rings around it. What it's crazy to me is that we we literally live on a rock, and yet we have all these fancy houses and all this fancy shit on a rock. I've been watching way too many movies. I've been watching way too many like space movies recently because like – with all this lack of like new stuff to like yeah. consume, like sports, really, what I'd be watching right now, like the playoffs. I've always been watching like uh, movies and whatnot. It's got me all like freaked out. But you're I still agree on you. the movie kick. I know on episode thirty you were oh, big on I'm movies. Binging. So what has happened I'm now? Binging every night. Seriously? Well, I just I I watch one like every night. So are you because? Are you I'm just, just doing like, it watching them or is it like an event with all your lights turned off and you're like tucked under like Oh yeah. Lights off, uh a lot of candle or something, you know. Oh my get get God. You know, just go into it. Yeah. Well, I just got tired of for years being like way out of the loop with like uh like conversations and like mm. references to these yes. like, apparently big deal films and I'm like, dude, I don't get it. I never seen it. Um uh, I was watching sports when I grew up, so yeah, I was, I was too busy yeah. watching sports. Yeah, you're like the guy they make a they make a movie reference and everybody's laughing and you're just that guy there and they're like, "What? what why aren't you laughing? Totally I've never lost. seen it. You haven't seen it? Yeah, you haven't seen Titanic, Forrest Gump, or uh, I've any seen of those things. I've seen Forrest Gump. I have not seen Titanic. Um, I uh, have a feeling I know what happens in Titanic, ugly. but I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like I've seen it baseball. Based off of all the things people talk Based about. Based off history, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a boat that sinks, but I'm not sure. I think it hits an I think it hits a big block of ice. And then it just what if falls out? What if Titan what if the Titanic got like shot down by like a Russian submarine and nobody is ever gonna talk about it? Dude, that would that'd be a way cooler storyline. So what what movie we could make like a we can make a, a film what movies have you been deep diving into because I, I i i don't do movies too terribly often which is weird because i will literally watch a youtube video that's two hours long but a movie probably not well that's my that was my mindset yeah i watched youtube for three hours but um I, I always thought I couldn't like do it. I still can't really do it during the day. It's like, uh, I can't, yeah, I can't just stop what I'm doing. It's too much sunlight. Weird me, but it's like, yeah, I'm just replacing like the, like the final couple hours of the day where I'd be like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, red and tube. Then sleep. I just <laughs> red tube. <laughs> I just replaced all that. Yeah. So I don't know. It is still weird though. So, um, but I'm are watching- you, are you, Paying for your movies, or are you still bootlegging them joints. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, I don't say still. I don't bootleg anything, ever. You, I know like, you do. Borrow the rights to it because the first time you ever mentioned that to me it was like straight out of Compton. I think you said you bootlegged it. I bootlegged and I was that. Like, I, oh my dude, god, I bootlegged that shit and had Chinese subtitles at the bottom. And you're bootlegging the Last Dance. I dude, I straight bootlegged a film last night. Yeah, I watched Last Dance. We've been bootlegging the whole joint. The first, the first, uh, the first like feed that we watched had a huge logo behind it, and we were like, "Oh no, we cannot do that." And so we had to find a Bro, different. Do feed. you? I think I have like a, I think I have like this huge Hulu like family plan, like where we can't even fill it out. I'll just let you have a oh, little sweet. profile on there. That way you don't have to bootleg Dude, it. That's how my You can watch with the world. That's how my Netflix is. My Netflix, the damn Netflix that I pay for, has 
everybody I know it's on it. It's leased out to everybody? Yeah, it's like public property. Yeah, I know. I will definitely Dude, take advantage I already of your have Hulu. People, like, in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to pass it along because I can't have you as part of a, a media company and you can't even watch the things we're supposed to talk about. Well, hey, man, I watch them. I just went out of my way. Did you catch up d- through through six? Oh, yeah, bro. I've been watching two every week. Me and my brother sit down and we hammer. All right, cool. Well, y'all can watch it in like 4K now or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I got up to – I need to finish episode six. I got interrupted to do the splash yesterday, but I think it's like coming together now. I think it's a lot – I think in the beginning, not like it was slow, but they definitely had to like build it up for people who – have no idea what uh, they're mm-hmm. gonna see. People who are, like never heard of the Bulls or whatever. Or somebody's like, oh, I wonder um, what happens. They win the championship. Oh, dude, I hate that. It's at like, the end of the year, and he you retires. Can't, you can't spoil this. You can't spoil this for me. Like I, I get it. I, I, I know what it. happens, bud. Um, yeah, I know what happens. But it's cool because they got all the exclusive footage and whatnot. Um, bro, then they showed that Kobe and David Stern clip. I know oh, that was. It, tough, I was man. like, I was like, oh. Like the Kobe clips was like this is yeah this is this is rough. That was surreal. Yeah, it's cool though. Um, I've been playing with the Bulls in two K now, just cause, just so, so I can teach the youngins about it. You know, I love how I love how in the ninety eight All Star game they were being, all, they were all sitting in there and they're like, Mike was like, yeah, you know that little Laker boy is gonna want to try to make this a one on one game. They all started laughing. He's like, oh, yeah. he's like, man, he's like, he don't let the game to him, man. He he'll shoot, he'll shoot his way into the fucking game. He's like, if he was on my team, I'd tell him to go get a rebound. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny seeing that. Yeah, like, I guess yeah. that just goes to show you how much of a, of a killer he was at that age. He was he was like literally my age right now in that All Star game, wanting a piece of Mike, and Michael's is still like a big shot, and he like wanted a piece of him. Bro, at my age and at Mike's age now, I don't want a piece of Mike. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want 55-year-old 50, Mike or whatever he is. Dude, I don't even want a piece of Malik Monk. Dude, Malik Monk. I like Malik Monk. I, I want like, him to be on my team. I feel like anybody could beat Malik Monk, but I don't even want a piece of him. I used to always say that growing up that I could beat somebody in a one-on-one. I still kind of feel that way about, you know... Has to be a big dude who's just like kind of riding the bench for the last couple of Robin years. Robin Lopez, I could fucking whoop Robin Lopez. No, ass. that you could not. I could. Bro. Robin's still fit. He plays daily. You gotta attack like like if Big Baby Davis was still in the league. So like a few years ago, you could probably take him. Probably. But now it's like you gotta look for that. Is Boris Diaw playing? Nah, Boris has been. Find out. Boris Diaw. Oh yeah. You could play. You could take Boris. I could have beat Boris. Yeah. Um, no, Boris was a beast in his prime. Um, but but you know he got fat. I could play in the WNBA quick. right now. Oh, you could make a team. Oh yeah, dude, I could make a team, practice for a couple <laughs> weeks, and then start on a team. I mean, I really don't know how how that would work. Uh, it's funny though. I just joined the team and I. Play. They should do that. That's how it works. Yeah, but they. Yeah, but they should just let somebody like try it out. They should. Oh, it, you it's really like, think you can play in the WNBA? There was a guy who became transgender, and he started fighting a women's UFC, and he started knocking girls oh, was so the hell out. But he did get knocked out by a and woman I think in a they fight. To, but I think they had to take care of him, like get rid of him, right? Yeah, he did get knocked out, though, by a girl. She kicked him in the head and knocked him out. Which, by the way... Dude, she was pissed. That's why. Uh, Playing basketball is one thing with women, but I am not fighting any women that know how to fight. A woman... Honestly, any man... Any man ever could get knocked out cold if a woman catches them rather with the right kick. Dude, I could be taken down easily. I know that. Easily, so, like, dude. I, I recognize I, that. I feel like my body is weak. Fight it. I feel like I'm physically weak. Like, the second that, like, I'll tell you this, bro. You feel brittle? Yes. We have these huge bags of ice in our house. 
and uh, we were hitting him against the countertop to break him up. Well, I had the smart ass idea of like punching this back. Like I was just like, oh, stupid. I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to boom that boy. Like break it up. Dude, I punched this bag, <laughs> did no damage, but my hand felt like it broke. I was like, oh. And like it took like the wind out of Bro, me. Bro, you might. Was that recently? This was like, yeah, about two weeks ago. You're an idiot. Well, I already knew that, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. I couldn't believe it. I just want to double down on that for you. Yeah, and it's like. You couldn't believe that a block of solid ice hurts when you hit it? Dude, I could if I punched somebody in the face, it would probably hurt me more than them. Um, You just got to gotta aim it right. Like, if you go for that jaw, that's oh. going to hurt. You know? Oof. But, but if you hit them soft in the cheek. Oh, they're done for because, like, you got the cushion and they, boom, done. Oh, dude, dude, if you punch somebody in the jaw, yeah, you're probably going to be ready to break a finger. Well, you're 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 going to probably knock them out, but you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I am not. Like, you better knock them out because you you don't want them to see you, like, oh, Oh, my my bad. Like, (laughs) dude, I am just not a fan of. Uh, violence on human beings. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. It's just I, like I like watching professional watch fighting. It? Professional fighting is cool. I, yeah. I like watching boxing and UFC. But myself, I'm not gonna fight a I person. I like watching people get paid to bash their heads in. Oh yeah, I love watching people. I love watching basically two lions go into the cage and maul each other. I mean, no, that's basically it. Yeah. Watching two guys slam each other on the floor. There's blood everywhere. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. One day we will need to orchestrate a, a fight, a fight match here, but like safely, you know, we'll have We're like be fighting or what? Helmet. no, no, we'll have somebody else do it. Mm. We'll, we'll collect the check, but we'll have somebody like, we'll have like Jude, Jude, find some friends that he doesn't like yeah fight each other put, we'll put them together yeah. Yeah. yeah that'd be cool so it's almost three it's do we do we need to cut it do we need to cut out we do need to cut out because i hate to tell the listeners but i do have to work uh fucking <sighs> very sad i have to get some she well, done and i told my man spencer time flies when you're having fun buddy i told my man spencer g i said at three, cover the line needs to be out of here. And so... Real quick, though, let, let's have a little fun. Let's have a little fun. Oh, wow. How do you do that? <laughs> you like it? Like my palm tree? Yeah, I don't want to do that because I want the sh- the, the viewers to not see that struggle. But I do enjoy that palm tree. Listeners, Spencer this is, this is, nice. is on a video right now. And he has the worst fake background I've ever seen. <laughs> It looks good. Dude, if that was real, you are either so big or that is a mini palm tree. Okay, now he's got what the is this one? now he's got the MacBook this background. Is cool. This looks Basically. like this looks like the background you put on your Mac that you think is fresh and then three days later you fucking <laughs> hate it. Yeah. I found the secret for that. You you set it to auto do a, a new background like every day. So you don't get tired of them. They all they still look fresh. You can do that. That's technology. I know you'll never figure it out because you're yeah. inept, but yeah. um but it's cool. So this is nice. It's kind of now kinda cool. Now his background is like covering the microphones where it looks like he's sucking on a fucking pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> this boy is wild. I must admit. It's fun. This is this is just really cool. This is better than Zoom or better than Skype, better than FaceTime. So I never used Skype, ever. Skype was washed. I could never, honestly, I could never figure it out. You just didn't have friends who wanted to see your face. I don't know. I think I tried to use it, and then I just never understood it. Yeah, I understand. Now he looks like he's the opening okay. scene of Transformers. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Dude, Transformers sucks. So. Dude, that last... Transformers is one of those movies that's super cool when you're like 12 and yeah. then you grow up. And then and you like, get older sucks. and you watch it and you're like, what is this? <laughs> it's so bad. Dude, 
I think the first one's still pretty good, but do you the rest think, of them suck. Do you think that space even is real, honestly? Think about it. Dude, I told you. I've been watching movies like Interstellar and like uh, The Martian. This stuff shit's like gotta that. be fake, bro. Space is real. Space is obviously Are real. Are you sure? We're in space. We're in space, fool. I don't know. I'm not I, in outer space, I, though. I had to see it to believe it. You don't believe in outer space. I just... I can't be sure because oh, I haven't I seen it. Well, we didn't land on the moon. I'll just... We'll close out with that. We did not land on the moon. Dude, There's I'll no be way. honest, bro. I didn't even think New York City was a real thing until I actually went. <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right, all right. I, it's real. I've been there. Okay, that's me right now because I still haven't gone into one place I really want to go. You're so just like looking I'm at pictures. Like, and you're like, this place doesn't exist. This is ridiculous. Bro, it's fake. It's fake. Yep, I know. Well, I got to go. I got to go and uh, check it out, so... I should go buy a plane ticket right now because it's still super cheap. Do it, bro. Just there, it, it's a hot spot for <laughs> Corona, but who cares? No, I can't. I can't go anywhere, but I'll be there. And I have to be responsible. Cover the line, people. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Space this Space isn't real. New York isn't real. Thank you for and, listening. Uh, we're out. Uh, Strive Network. Don't forget us. Uh, you can forget us. It's you fine. can forget us. That's fine. But then you'll be re- remembered of us in a couple of years. And be like, why did I forget about them? God damn it! <laughs> and this right. is cover line thirty one. Cover the line. We're out of here. Three one. Throwing up my sets. And uh, don't do that. We are out of here. Peace. Peace.